Traveling on two wheels has never been easier, and now Omaha's bike sharing program is expanding. Yes, more bikes to share on both sides of the river. KTV News Watch 7's Chin Doan joins us live. And Robin Melissa, since 2011, you could only check out a B cycle bike in Omaha. But come mid November, you can grab one of these rides in Council Bluffs, too. Today, city leaders on both sides of the river say this will promote healthy living and drive more business. It's a beautiful day to enjoy the outdoors and ride a bike. I like to go places and enjoy the scenery at a relaxed pace. And soon, there will be more opportunities for bicyclists like Peter Leibin. Omaha's B cycle program is now rolling across the river, adding six bike kiosks in Council Bluffs. The regional expansion calls for a new name, now Heartland B cycle. Mayor Matt Walsh says these bikes will put a new spin on healthy living and drive business for Council Bluffs. Also brings people to a location where uh, grocers and and restaurants and and uh, clothing retailers and other retailers actually prosper more. Plus, 14 new stations for Omaha over the next few months, making this a total of 31. City leaders say bike sharing achieves many goals. Priority safety. The accident rate is about 10 times lower than other bike accident rates. But some say Omaha isn't bike friendly enough. We need more bike lanes, designated bike lanes, safe bike lanes. Mayor Stothert says she knows there's work to be done. That's why soon we will know the first members of the Active Living Advisory Committee. This month we will name the initial members of the committee. These volunteers will advise my administration and assist with the development and design and promote all aspects of active living and complete streets. And the 20 new B cycle kiosks and bikes cost nearly $1 million. It's all funding through private partnerships and grants, no tax dollars. For a full list of new kiosks and the current ones, go to KETV.com. Reporting live at the Bob Carey Pedestrian Bridge, Chindo, KETV News Watch 7.